My name's Emmanuel Quickly. It's my Capital Hoops documentary. Welcome to season two. And this is my view from the top. Shout out to all the people that's uh, following me. will follow my documentary. So. Hey. All right, I just want to uh, tell everybody to say thank, thank you for everybody for coming. You know.
You're at top 100 camp with your brother. How's things going? It's been good. Look at me. It's been good. It's been all right. <laughs> it's something all right. The food? It's been good. Yeah. Just like Spain. All right. Oh, so the food's comparable to Spain? Uh, did you like the food when you were in Spain? No. Oh, okay. Brandon A., how's things? Hi. Good. How's, how's the food here? It's okay. It's okay? Shallow. Meach and Judy, how's everything going down there? Sleepy. You act like you've been playing basketball. I've been the gym all day. You've been what? I've been in the gym since several times. Oh, that's. So how many hours? Too many. Too many. Too many to calculate. You done did your eight hours and overtime. We're going on 13 hours. We're going on 14 hours. 14 hours. Manuel. Lift your head up. Get off your phone. Talk to me. How's the food? Okay. So uh, tell me about this uh, top 100 experience. Seven of that. Today I played as good. How do you back tomorrow? Oh, okay. All right, so um, what is the takeaway from this uh, camp? Learning to be a pro on and off the court. Learning to be a pro on and off the court. Could you give me a little more details about maybe off the court, maybe some type of session that you had? Or? Yeah, we talked about drugs, sex, being on time. Oh, being on time? Okay. What they say about drugs in particular? Uh, yeah, speak up. They loud. They talked about um uh, different situations that NBA players have been in. What they thought the situation. Oh, okay. Who are these loud people over here? <laughs> Some of the best players in the country over here. The United States of America. The best centers in the world. So. Oh. And we'll end with a Precious. What you got to say? Oh, it was great. Nice uh, little mini vacation. Oh, okay. How was Italy? Oh, my God. It was beautiful. It was <laughs> breathtaking. Mm -hmm. We went to Rome. We went to Venice. It was just um, memories forever and ever. Treviso, Italy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Give me a little detail. Okay, different culture. Different languages. Okay. So we had to find a different way to communicate. Oh, how would y'all communicate? Hand signals and stuff. Give me an example. You you go up to a place to eat and what do you do? Point to what you want instead of telling them. <laughs> oh. What y'all do in basketball over there? We played against grown men. Grown men? What do you mean grown men? Did you say 23? Oh. How'd y'all do? Oh, okay. 
Yeah. All right, good, good, good. Trees, what do you think of the top 100 camp that we are participating at? <laughs> well, I think that um, Emmanuel seems to be playing fairly well against you know the best kids in the nation. Um, I don't think everyone's you know sound like a funny thing. Yeah. Playing to their full potential, uh, you know, some they fundamental things. They tired. It's too long. They ready to go home. They ready to go home. Well, that might be it. They number four. They are playing like it's day three of camp. But, uh, so I've you know, enjoyed the experience. I've enjoyed the parent session. I uh, got to talk with and dialogue with um, NBA players. Uh, they shared their stories. Um, yeah. Um, they just gave so much knowledge and wisdom to those, to those uh, you know, have that desire and that, that goal to play in the league one day. Um, so what players did you talk to? Oh, you remember name? Mr. Lloyd, Dr. Lloyd, I think. Yeah, Dr. Rumble the doctor, he's one of four. Uh, Dr. Lloyd, one of four doctors that is in the NBA, that played in the NBA. There are only four men who went on to get their doctorate degree who played in the NBA and he is one of those four men. Yeah, just here at the NBA camp, uh, May was played pretty well. Um, came aggressive from the jump, which was expected. So it's kind of a good experience for him, I think, to be here before USA camp, kind of get used to it, uh, kind of get you know used to playing against. He's out all, already used to it, but kind of you know get get ready for USA camp and playing in a tough and competitive camp here. So. All right, go. Cool. How you doing? My name is Paul Suber. From the New York Gantos, from the Riverside Church. We do the AAU a lot. There's a great guard from Mark Cook, Kenny Satterfield, uh, Kyrie Irving, uh, Kimber Walker. Mark and, Cook. and I've seen this kid, Emmanuel, quickly. This is my first time being an observer. I watched him go Cole Anthony, I watched him go to some of the top guards. He's clearly one of the top guards here. He plays to me like one of those Bronx Brooklyn kind of guards with a little savvy quickness. Also, Visually, he reminds me of John Walls. Very fast, changed direction. Sneaky athletic. I like the kid a lot. It's my first time seeing him. Enjoy what's going on. I like these matchups out here. I think that kid's going to go a long way. And you quickly, I heard a lot about him the last two years. I didn't get to see him play. I met him down in New York City at the League 24 in the concession stand. And I talked to him. He was real humble. And then I found that he played for a good friend of mine uh, with the Adidas team in Baltimore. And, I've been friends with a lot of people from Baltimore for over 15 years. They always had great talent. They the city that's known to have the toughest little guards. Right. They the city that's be known to have the toughest little guards for Muggsy Bones, Shante Rogers, Kevin Norris, Mudo. But this time they got a tough Terrence Williams. But this time they got a tough big guard. Point guard got vision, got creativity. Now my man Paul Sue said he play like a New York guard. He do a little bit, but he got some savvy like a Philly guard. And I wish him the best. And I see oh, him in the near future going a long way to the to the highest level. So just keep working with him hard, mentor him, and learning the game, putting it together because he got he's a special talent. So check Ball Magazine. Kevin uh, speaking about Emmanuel Quickly today, uh, five star, top 25 guard out of Baltimore. I'm highly, highly impressed with just his development as a ball player, um, shot making skills. The fact that 12 months ago, the talk on him was to be able to make a jump shot. And now it's there's no major pull in his game whatsoever. He defends, he competes, he makes shots, he runs his team. Um, what did he do last night against Ayo Tsumu back and forth, Chipman and Jeff Church? Um, that was impressive. Just in a camp setting, seeing guys compete and work hard. Um, I, I think it really reflects on who he is as a ball player, who he is as a kid, and his upside as a college prospect and beyond. So he has my uh, two thumbs up as what he is as a ball player. 
and um, like I said, as a prospect moving ahead, he's the best at that spot, I think. Ron Bailey, uh, HoyerReport.com by the Rivals Network, independent site, I95Ballers.com. Yeah, Emmanuel, um, I'm most impressed with how he has developed into a total guard. You know, you can shoot, you can pass, he can dribble, he can lead. And he does it intelligently, and you know he, he's really focused. He has a lot of good people around him. The BBC team has done a good job with him, managing him, mentoring him, bringing him along. Um, he accepts his role, whatever that may be. He's a winner. And in, a, in, in an age where people want to be that guy, he doesn't have to be that guy. He wants to be that guy with the W. I think that's most important. Whoever gets him, you got to win him. Quickly, it's my Capital Hoops documentary. Welcome to season two. Miss my beautiful top. <laughs>